Yum, that looks really good. Now let's make some yellow frosting. Here's a green apple lemon cake, yum! This playset also has a lot of decorations for you to choose from. We'll add this onto our cake. Now let's make a pretzel. Mmm, that pretzel looks really good. Cool! We can even make a heart. And here are some more decorations to put onto our cake. Awesome! We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to watch more Awesome Disney Toys. Thanks! Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Play-Doh vs. Mundo ice cream. Let's start by checking out the Mundo. This Mundo feels a lot softer than the Play-Doh. We get two ice cream cones, a spoon in a bowl, an ice cream scooper, and an ice cream cart. Now let's check out the Play-Doh. We get two special types of Play-Doh. This one's a mint chocolate chip Play-Doh. We also get a popsicle mold, two ice cream cones, an extruder, a sundae cup, and a spoon. Here's the popsicle stick. Here's the ice cream scooper. And we also get this white Play-Doh Plus. Let's start by making some Mundo ice cream. Here's a vanilla scoop. Let's make it a double scoop with strawberry. This looks really good. Now let's make a Play-Doh ice cream. Here's the mint chocolate chip. Yum. Let's make this a double scoop as well. We'll add blueberry. This looks really good too. Which one did you like better? Now let's scoop some Mundo ice cream into the bowl. Mm. 
Mundo never dries, but Play-Doh does. These three scoops look really delicious. Don't forget the spoon. Now let's make a Play-Doh sundae. Play-Doh provides special types of Play-Doh to use in our play sets. Mundo doesn't really have that. Yum! We'll use the white Play-Doh Plus to make some frosting. Play-Doh Plus is something Play-Doh provides so that we can create frosting. Mundo unfortunately doesn't have that. That looks good! This sundae looks really good. Which one did you like? Now let's use the Mundo ice cream cart to make some toppings. Mundo may look really cool, but it's really hard to clean up compared to Play-Doh. Here's a green banana slice. Here's a red strawberry. And here are some white berries. Now let's use the Play-Doh ice cream cart to make some toppings. Here's a mint chocolate art. Here's a white star. And here's a mint chocolate flower. Now it's time to make the popsicle. We'll use the pink play-doh. This looks really refreshing! We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to watch more awesome Disney toys. Thanks! Hey everyone! Awesome Disney toys here. And today we're bringing you the Play-Doh Sweets Cafe Swirling Shake Shop. Here's the front of the box, and this is the back of the box. Let's begin by opening up the box. Here's the base of the playset. A piece and cups for the playset. The Play Doh that we'll be using for today's playset.
Here are some tools and molds. And this is the top of the playset. Here we have some extra pieces for the playset. A tool to twist our Play Doh. Before we begin, let's assemble our playset. It's really simple to set up. Inside, you'll find that they provide two cups for us. Then you attach this piece in the middle like this. Here's a tool that we'll need when we make our mold. Let's open up this package. Here we have a strawberry mold, a grape mold, a banana mold, and a watermelon mold. Here's a yellow spoon, a purple knife, a blue spoon, and the tool to make our whipped cream. Let's open up our Play-Doh. Here we have white, yellow, blue, and pink Play-Doh. Let's first open up our blue Play-Doh. We'll grab a piece of our blue Play-Doh and mix it with our pink Play-Doh. Whoa, doesn't that look like cotton candy? Once you molded your Play-Doh, place it inside the middle of the playset, like this. Then put the handle down and twist. Let's use this cup to make our shake. Mmm, doesn't that look good? Now we have a cotton candy shake.
Now let's make some whipped cream for our shake. Grab some white Play-Doh and place it inside this tool. When you're ready, squeeze down. Then you'll have delicious looking whipped cream come out. We're almost complete. Now let's create a banana to top it off. Place the banana mold like this and grab your Play-Doh and press down. That banana looks really good. Place it on top of your shake. And now we have a cotton candy banana shake. Yum! You can also use the Play-Doh to add more decorations to your shake. Now that our first shake is complete, let's make our second shake. This time, we'll use the white and pink Play-Doh. Place the second cup on the playset again. Mmm, we have a vanilla strawberry shake. Doesn't that look good? Now let's add whipped cream to our shake. And now let's make a blue strawberry to top it all off. This looks real tasty. The playset also provides many decorations for you to choose from. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to watch more. Thanks! Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtle Maker Activity Set. Here's the front of the box. And here's the back of the box. Let's begin by opening up the box. And here are the molds to make our Ninja Turtles. A 
And here's the softy dough that they provide for us. Let's see what all the molds look like. We also get a knife to use. And we also get some weapons for the Ninja Turtles. We get one brown softy dough. A dark green softy dough. A green softy dough. And a lime green softy dough. Let's start by using the green play-doh to make our first Ninja Turtle. You can use the knife to be precise. Cool! Let's put a blue band on him. Do you know who he is? Yep, you're right. It's Leonardo. Now let's give him his weapon. And our first Ninja Turtle is complete. Let's use the brown play-doh to make our second Ninja Turtle. Awesome! We'll put an orange band on him, which means he's Michelangelo. He's my favorite Ninja Turtle. And we'll put his weapon on his back. Now let's use the dark green Play-Doh to make another Ninja Turtle.
Hmm, which band should we put on him? Purple sounds good. Can you guess who he is? Yup, it's Donatello. Now he's ready to fight. We'll use this lime green softy dough to make our last ninja turtle. And the red mask is Raphael. Awesome! All the Ninja Turtles are complete. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to watch more awesome Disney toys. Thanks! Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Play-Doh, Transformers, Dark of the Moon, Playset. I'm really excited about this one. Here's the front of the box, and here's the back of the box. Let's begin by opening up the box. Here's the playmat that this playset provides. Cool. And here are all the stamps that we'll be using today. We can use this tool to attach our stamps. This playset also comes with the cool Optimus Prime Mold. Let's start by using the blue Play-Doh. It's really easy to attach. We made Ironhide. He has so many weapons. Now let's open up this silver Play-Doh. We'll flip the stamp around. This is Ironhide's vehicle, a GMC top kick. That looks cool. Let's switch out our stamps. We'll use the yellow orange Play Doh this time. Nice! This is Bumblebee. He's one of my favorite Transformers. Let's use a different stamp now. This is Starscream. 
he's one of the bad guys. Star screams at F-22 Raptor when he's not a Decepticon. That's pretty neat though. We also get an Optimus Prime stamp as well. Let's make another stamp. This is Megatron. He's one of the leaders of the Decepticons. Let's make another stamp. Here's the Autobot symbol. And here's the Decepticon symbol. Now let's play with this cool Optimus Prime mold. This looks really good! We should make one more! Now we have Optimus Prime Twins. We can't lose to the bad guys anymore. Thanks for watching Awesome Disney Toys. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Hey everyone. Awesome Disney Toys here and we're bringing you the Play-Doh Twirlin' Top Pizza Shop playset. As you can see, that's the front of the box. And this is the back of the box. Today we'll be making a delicious pizza. So let's begin by opening up the box. So the first thing we see is the oven and pizza toppings. Inside the oven, you'll find that they provide us with a spatula and a pizza cutter. We also get four Play-Dohs to work with, brown, green, red, and yellow. They also provide us with a pizza pan. Ooh, and we get a cheese grater as well. And this is the cheese grater handle. Alright, so let's begin by assembling the playset. All you have to do is attach the side of the pizza oven to the side of the cheese grater. Just like this. Pretty simple, right? Next, let's get the pizza pan and place it onto the cheese grater. Finally, let's get the cheese grater handle and place it on top of the cheese grater. If you twirl it around, you'll notice that the pan twirls as well. Are you guys ready to make a delicious pizza? Alright, let's begin by using the brown play-doh to make our dough. 
be sure to take out as much Play-Doh as you like. Once you do that, begin to mold your Play-Doh into the shape of a ball. And then proceed to flatten it out to look like the shape of a pizza. Once you have the shape that you like, get your pizza pan and place your Play-Doh on top of the pan. Now, let's place the stove inside the oven. Once you do that, make sure you bring the handle down and the handle back up and you have yourselves a nice looking crust. Be sure to take off any unnecessary Play-Doh off the edges so that it looks like a pizza crust. Mmm, doesn't that look delicious? Alright, so there's no pizza without pizza sauce, so let's begin by using the red Play-Doh and creating the pizza sauce. Now. We want the pizza sauce to be the same shape as the pizza crust, so begin to flatten it out. And once you have the shape that you like, grab the pizza pan and place your sauce on top of the crust. Like this. Mmm, the pizza already looks so good. Alright, and now there's no pizza without cheese. So let's get the white Play-Doh. And take out as much white Play-Doh as you like. This will be our mozzarella cheese. Mold it into a shape so that you can place it into the cheese grater. and place your cheese grater handle back onto your cheese grater. Twirl the handle and you'll see delicious pieces of mozzarella shreds coming out of the cheese grater. Doesn't this make you want to eat a pizza? Get your cheese all around the edges, and we have ourselves a cheese pizza. Yum! Alright, so now let's begin by adding toppings to our pizza. We'll use the green Play-Doh, and use broccoli as our first ingredient. Flatten out your Play-Doh, and place it on top of the topping of your choice. So for us, we'll be using broccoli. Once you have it nicely in there, take it out, and you'll find that you have yourself a perfect looking broccoli. Mmm, doesn't this green broccoli look really good? Place it on top of your pizza, and we have ourselves a broccoli pizza. Now, let's use the green Play-Doh again and spice up our pizza by adding a jalapeno. Once you have your jalapeno, place it on top of your pizza. Now we have a spicy broccoli pizza. And for our last topping, we'll use the red Play-Doh and place it on top of the mushroom. Make sure you flatten it out. And once you take off the edges, you'll see that we have a bright red mushroom to eat. Yum! Place it on top of your pizza, and we have a spicy broccoli mushroom pizza. Doesn't that look delicious? Now it's time to share it with our friends. Let's begin by using the pizza cutter and cutting it into fours. Whoops, 
There goes our mushroom.